Welcome, this is the 3.2 Ready, Set, Go homework solutions for the IM1 Honors class. Here we have the ready part. The instructions ask us to graph each set of linear equations on the same axis. Name the coordinate of the points where the two lines intersect. We have these two graphs. To make your life easier, all right, you can use your graphing calculator or in our sense we are going to be using decimals. Plug in the calculator, um, plug into the first function, so 2x minus 7. The second one was negative 4x plus 5, right? The part that they intersect looks like it's right here. So that is 2 comma negative 3, right? That's what I should have here. 2 comma negative 3, good. Right? There you go. That's how it looks like. Next one. The intersection was 1, negative 1, comma 3. Those are your two functions. Let's see if that's correct. Let's double check in decimals. The first one was negative 5x minus 2. Second one was negative 2x plus 1. Is the intersection correct? At negative 1, comma 3. There you go. So all these problems, when they're asking you to graph these two, plug it into your graphing calculator or plug into decimals graph it that's it okay all right that's the how you do all these all right so I'm just gonna be sh just showing the solution now number three the intersection was negative four comma two negative uh, four was neg uh, three comma negative two for number four number five looks like it is negative three comma two right as well and number six is negative one negative one all right next uh, for each graph one state the interval where it's increasing or decreasing and if there is a minimum or maximum identify the domain and range using interval notation all right I have the answer here right but I'm going to take a picture of it and we'll talk about it in um, paint okay give me a second here while I pull that up for us all right, give us a second. All right, here you go. All right. So this is the answer for increasing, right? Let me explain how I got the increasing part for you here. All right, so I saw that it's increasing from here to here, right? This is your negative 10, and this is your negative 7, right? That's this part, OK? Uh, let's do orange now. Where else is it increasing from here to here? That was your negative 6 to your negative 2. That's that answer. It's also increasing from here, which is 7, right? 6, 7, and 12, which is this answer right there. Okay. Next, let's see, brown looks good. Decreasing, go from here, which is negative 13, all the way to negative 10, which is right there. Uh, let's make purple. Decreasing, goes from here at negative 2, all the way there to 5. That is what that one is. Okay, where's your minimum? Where is your minimum? All right, give me a second here. Where is our minimum? Uh, let's look for that. We can use, let's see, we can use big blue for that one. The smallest one, oop, this looks like this is small, and this is also small. That it looks like that is at, okay, let me clean, okay, let me clean up the screen, okay? All right, so I got it back here. All right, minimum. Looks like this is where it's one minimum. That's where it's one minimum. And it is at roughly, oh, sorry, it's at positive one, right? That's what it says there. Maximum, its highest point. So it looks like this was its highest point. And that is at uh, y equals to 8. Okay. That is how you got that answer there, right? Good. Oops. Let's see, how do I go back? Oh, give me a second here. OK. 
okay domain the domain's really weird when it's just um it's discontinued like this right but let's see one of the domains here it looks like it's going from here to here which is negative six. Oh, i said here it says all i said everything real right from here to here except for the gap so here was a gap right this was a gap this was a gap and the gap was what negative the gap is negative six negative five this is also a gap from here to here this was your that was another gap and that was what five comma seven good good all right Shh. let's see if i can clean this up again all right let's look at the range now the range looks like it goes from here all the way to up to here and there is a gap of course this look it's like a gap here all right because there's there's nothing that fills this gap here all right and that gap is from four to five that's what i wrote there good there you go that's number seven have eight here as well i'm gonna do this one in in fine detail again just uh, because to make you sure you can see you know all of them okay give me a second to pull up paint with this part all right good all right so uh, we just need this part okay good all right so is it ever increasing no because it looks like it is going down right it looks like it's going down all right so it's none here there's nothing increasing but where is it decreasing looks like here it is starting from one right it looks like right do you notice oh <laughs> that was bad here let me just draw a line here do you see how right this looks like it's from one and it goes all the way to all the way here to make to positive infinity okay all right minimum looks like an asymptote here so this is what value looks like it is a three All right minimum there maximum Ooh, it's really high it's probably up there somewhere right it's probably up there somewhere so this should be called relative maximum and yes it would be at negative infinity okay some of you might have put 19 but that would be your um so it's true maximum looks like it is positive infinity but it's local or relative maximum would be 19 right here because that's what you can see on your screen okay the domain the domain is all your x value so it looks from here and goes here right because it stops right it stops right there so this looks like it is one and goes all the way to infinity that's what i got there okay and range okay range it looks like its bottom value looks like it is this right and and its top value looks like it's somewhere up there which is probably infinity right the bottom one down is one that's why it's open here at one and its bottom value is one it's <laughs> Right, it goes from so I think a better way to write this might have just been oh it should be the one infinity I think that would be a better way right um, sh sorry copy paste control V yeah, that would be a better answer right so open at infinity and it is close here at one uh, that would be a better way of writing it right the smallest y to the largest y good all right so the other ones i'm not going to do in fine detail right here i have 
you could just look at it where it's increasing, looking at the intervals where it's decreasing, minimum, maximum, domain, and range. Okay. The other two I went into detail for the sake of the length of the video. I'm not going to go into detail. Here's just the answer. All right. Let's go to the next one. Here's the go part. Uh, here, it just uh, asks us to write the recursive and explicit. Just review, so I'm not going to really go over it in detail. Here's the chart. Common difference was negative three, right? Explicit equation was in y equals mx plus b. Plug it in. Life made easy. Eleven. Common ratio was two, right? I used the f uh, first term equation for the exponential. There you go. You could just pause it if you need if you want to copy it down. All right, twelve. Twelve was also a little tricky because. Uh, the first term wasn't shown. They only show the zero, second, and third. So I just found the first term. Made my life a little easier, right? Uh, from negative five goes to negative one by adding four. So how do I get the first term? I just went backwards. Common difference was four. Again, plug it, plug it in. Thirteen, same thing here, right? I got from eleven to thirteen. I add it went up by two. So I just went backwards. Subtract two, subtract two. Okay, to get the third term and the first term. Uh, and I went one more back to get the zero term. That's how I got, that's why how I was able to write it in y equals mx plus b. Because remember, b is using the zero term or the y-intercept when x equals to zero. 14, 14, it grew really fast, so I knew it was exponential. Uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, you would have to find the common difference. So this is the, com the way I did the common ratio, I mean. I I used this. You've never seen this. I only showed you the zeroth term equation and the first term equation. But if you continue the pattern, you could find the second term equation. Okay, that's what I did. I used right here. I used that uh, to solve for the r. Right, using some exponent stuff. R equals to five. You could also, you know, guess and check. But this is the algebra way of doing it. The common ratio was five. Right, this is not the um, linear, it is exponential. Okay, there you go. Is that it? Was 14 the last one? Let's see, yep. Oh, no, there is a 15. Yep, there is a 15 here. All right, common ratio was 4 here, positive 4. Explicit for the this is also exponential. Okay. It's not linear. There you go. That's how it looks like. That's it. There you go. Those are your solutions for your three point two ready set go homework solutions. There you go.